Hi everyone, my name is Lupita. Welcome to the Cookie Couture for Favor and Design Collect. Today I'm going to share with you a very cute idea of a haunted mansion. Okay? And I hope that you like this idea and um, let's get started. Please click the link above to see the full tutorial on how you can cut these beautiful Halloween cookies. I'm just going to tell you a little bit about it. You will need hard candy crush and your favorite cookie recipe that also you can click the link above to see one of my favorite ones. And then using very little cookie cutters you can make different designs in the Haunted Mansion cookie. Don't forget to line up your baking sheet with a parchment paper and then very carefully you're going to put all the crushed candy inside of the little holes. Then you're going to bake your cookie at 350 for 10 to 13 minutes. When your cookies are ready, you need to transfer them to a cooling rack and meanwhile you can prepare your royal icing. If you can click the link above, there is a very good recipe. You will need medium consistency icing in black and frothing consistency in three different colors. Purple, terracotta and moss green. Very well, when you are going to work with cookies with caramel or any candy, you always need to be very careful to put them on top of parchment paper as I did with this one because as you know the candy is very hygroscopic so it catch humidity and it can start dissolving and it can get stuck to your cooling rack okay so first i am going to use one of my edible markers to kind of um, start with the design so i don't mess it up okay Another thing that is very very important when you are going to use um, this kind of decorating tips and the icing it is always very very useful if you put them in a glass like this so the tip doesn't get clogged and also every time that you are going to use it you need to have like a little wet wipe that after you use it you kind of clean it and then you put it in here okay and also it's always very handy to have one of these little tools over here so if it get clogged you can easily open your decorating tip okay so to start outlining this project to outline all the places where I put the caramel so when I float my cookie it doesn't go on those areas okay it already looks super cool but I think so when we add the color and the icing it will look even much cooler very well I have here the color purple terracotta kind of moss green that i'm going to use very well i'm going to use a bme decorative 
decorating tip number zero because I'm gonna make very small details and I hope that you like this idea guys I love 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 the effect of the melted candy makes in this beautiful cookie it looks like a I don't know it looks like a stained glass thing I really really love it and I bet that if you put a little candle behind it will look super super cute Okay, I really, really hope that you like this idea. This is a beautiful, beautiful activity for your family. And also, it's a very creative idea for a Halloween cookie, okay? So, I think so that's it for today. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Share it with your friends. And also, you can follow me on my social media, okay? My Instagram over here. My Pinterest here. And my Twitter over here. Okay, thank you so much and see you next time. Bye guys. Thank you.